Hello everyone and welcome back to Dawn of Man. This is episode 2 and we are going to jump right back into where we left off last time and work our way into the Mesolithic era and do a little bit more. Probably not going to get to the uh, Neolithic era today, but we're going to at least try to get through some of the Mesolithic era. But we've got to farm up quite a few more knowledge points. We need 10 more to unlock pottery, so... Let's get started here. We're still doing good on food and fish, sticks and flint, all that good stuff. Ooh, our trader is here. Uh, hold on, let's see if I can remember how to play this game. I've been playing Anno 1800 all morning. Ooh, you've got a bunch of flint. I'm actually going to take all of that flint that he has. That will save us having to... Uh, buying flint is actually really good if you can get it kind of cheap. Yeah, we'll sell off some of those spears. We'll sell off one of those. We'll sell off one of those. And we'll sell off the tan. Ooh, I don't want to sell off the dry skins. Let's sell off the tannin. Tannin's easy to get. Yeah, we'll do that. And that, that, I think, is a good trade for a whole bunch of flint. So we've got 10 people out of 12. That gives us another knowledge point for some sticks. I'm thinking we need to get another food dryer set up here. So let's set one up. Let's set one up right there. Nice. Got another. Let's see what we could do for some knowledge points. That is not the menu. Here we go. Another storage tent. Of course, the totem poles. We need to go do some hunting is what I think we really should do. Although I think, weren't we doing? Yeah, we did some hunting last time. There's a whole group of uh, megaloceruses right there. Oh, there's the cave lions though. And there's that bear. Okay, you know what? Hold on. We're going to, uh, we're going to select a few of my people here. I don't like those bears hanging around. That really greatly disturbs me. Mostly because they'll attack your people and everything else and steal your food. So we're going to get rid of that. Good, de good deal. Watch those cave lions. Where'd they go? They're all over there. He must be going to get that skin. Yeah, it's all good. Everybody's gathering. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need this other food dryer now. Don't we have? We do have. Okay. Yeah, we need some more raw skins. We are uh, running low. Oh, new human. Welcome, welcome to the tribe, buddy. An old man joined us. I do believe. Oh no, was it wasn't him? I don't know, it was somebody. I think it was an old person that joined us. Well, whatever. Oh. Look at, look at it. Yes. Okay. We're going to send all of them up over to there. There we go. Oh, I need one of you to come over here to that one. Yeah, there we go. Definitely need more skins. We, uh, we need more leather. We need uh, two leather and three sticks for each sledge we make. And I'm going to be making, like, how many sledges do I want to make? We've got six... 10. I'll probably make like want to make like eight sledges to start. Crap. There's another freaking bear. Ah. I did not keep an eye on these people. Yeah, no. You can carry more than that, buddy. Thank you. Keep an eye on that bear. We can house 15 people now. Former people would be nice. 
these dogs and stuff will help protect our village if a uh, bear or something decides to come in and uh, give us give us any crap. How long does flint last? I guess it lasts forever, so it's okay if it's sitting out on the ground. It doesn't seem to uh, it doesn't seem to decay. No. Okay, good. I guess that would be weird for rocks to decay. No, you need to go get some raw meat too. Thank you. Get more stuff. We're gonna set that at a high priority. So I want them to really focus on that. Um, our stick gathering is starting to slow down a bit. Although we do have three people gathering sticks. It's slowing down. Keep an eye on that back there. What else do we got going on? Let's uh, let's go take a look at where all of. Ooh, what was that? Oh, just more rocks. Okay. Let's go take a look at where all of our gathering areas are. So we got some tannin there. The sticks back there. The flint back here. How is that flint pile doing? It's doing all right. It's doing all right. Wild heart. Wild plants there and fish there. Okay. High priority on that tannin back there, because that is definitely going to be what is needed. That's still good, that's still good. We don't need another storage tent right now. I mean, it would be another knowledge point, but it's not going to help us at the moment. We can get plenty of knowledge points from other stuff. We have plenty of food at the moment. We don't want to do any more hunting, although we could use more, more skins still everybody okay let's just go into here all right let's get to hunting speed it on up no y'all don't have the right weapons for hunting what are y'all doing Do not have the right weapons for hunting. There, now they do. All right, let's see. We need to uh, we need to deal with all of this. Cave lion attack. Oh, that gave us a point. Nice. Cave lions will eat anything that you have sitting around, so you definitely want to get rid of them. Gotta love the megaloceroses that run by. Okay. And there's some... These guys, okay. That ought to be good right there. No, you can come over here and help harvest stuff. Uh, so can you. And everybody else that's back in town that has knives will come over and help to harvest as well. So, yeah. We're going to tell them to actually go and do that. Going to Megaloceros. He is idle. Let's tell you to go to that Auroch. Um, we're going to tell you to go to that Auroch. Sometimes they will wander away. They have some weird issues with wandering off when they're not, when they're not supposed to. All right, let's speed it up. Get all that uh, good old meat and skins back in where we need them. We got three tannin, and it's already fall. So building another uh, tanner is not going to do us much good yet because we're going to be out of tannin here soon. We'll just use what we've got. I'm not going to do any more hunting at the moment. We're uh, we're pretty good. And everything's getting kind of full of meats. We've got enough to last us. Five more points. What can we do? What can we do? 
Skull poles, eh, tents, eh. God, it's just. I, mean, I could do more hearths, but we're kind of. We're not running low on sticks, but. You know, we are having to kind of go look good ways out to get them. We'll just wait. We'll get another point after winter. And I think. When's our. What's our next. We have 15, and we do have a population for 15. And that'll give us. Clicking the wrong thing. That'll give us three more points. So we'll just wait. We'll get some more people in. Kind of slow down real quick. I really like the look of this little village right here. It's compact, but it's also spread out. You know, we've got our crafting area up here with the storage for it right there. Our food and stuff's down here with the food tent right here next to the people where they live. So it works out pretty well. Little totem in the middle. You know what we could use is probably wolf attack. No. Okay. Let's grab a few people. Is that the only wolf that's coming in? Ah, don't kill my dog, you jerk. There we go. Oh, nice. Got a point for killing the wolf. That is why I like having dogs early. They do help protect your uh, settlement early on. See? It's just standing there idle. I think there's a bug with the game. There's a few people on the uh, Steam discussion uh, boards talking about how there will still be stuff sitting on the ground and people won't go and collect it. Okay, we've got a problem here. We have got... A uh, blizzard coming in. So we want to tell people to get back to town. I'm going to specifically tell him to get back to that tent. As people get cold, they will actually go into the... Oh, dang it, another wolf attack. Okay, he's got... He's actually dying. Yeah. face she's uh, she's pretty healthy still so it'll be okay she can extract all those resources from that wolf from the attack let's check and see where all our people are at they're uh, still wandering around oh there was some f random flint out there that he looks like he was going to get hmm. Hard, <laughs> if you heard a little clap right there was a gnat flying in front of my face rid of that. There you are. Come here, you. There, got him. Pink gnats. Get them on occasion in here. It's so hot and humid right now here in the south in the U.S. Gnats are a problem. They like to fly my coffee. Then I have to pour my coffee out. It makes me sad. Okay, so they're starting to get cold. There's still some raw meat sitting. Oh, there's all this stuff over here. Oh, but the, uh, the blizzard is over now, so... We're all, we're all good. It's gonna warm up. Come on, get in the tent before you die. Just out there in the blizzard, messing around. Now they gotta warm up. Speed things up. There's not much to do in the winter. Uh, okay, he's still healthy. Hmm, storage tent's getting a little low, though. That's okay. Yeah, they're going to repair it now. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah, moving all the food around. Everything in the storage tent is uh, cured. That means all of our raw stuff is sitting out here, which is slowly going bad. This meat right here didn't get picked up for a while. So it might not get cured in time. We'll see. Come spring, we'll get tannin, and we'll be able to uh, make some more leather for our sledges once we hit the Mesolithic era. Yeah, this raw meat. 
It's getting pretty low, although it is about to finish up and be cured. And once it's cured, it uh, starts over with the uh, timer bar on it. So I think it'll be all right. Let's slow down for a second. Let's take a look around and see what kind of uh, animals we have in the vicinity. We have another auroch right there, actually. I wouldn't mind going and grabbing him. Give us a little more meat and uh, some more skins that we can use. We're at 20 dry skins now, so that is the cap that I have set. So these four skins should all go to leather, and that will give us some more for sledges. I don't want to spend any more dry skins right now because I really need to save up on the leather. Really got to. Got another point for some more of those. This will get the 13 once winter is over for surviving the winter. Where are you going? You know what? There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, we got a, another point. Oh, there's our fifth. No. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. 14. One more point. One more point. There's a young cave lion. Don't you be coming over here. They won't eat what's on the ground, but they'll try to eat the carcass. And they will remove meat from it. And then if they remove too much meat, then it will just disappear. And you lose out on all that stuff. Let's see if she picks up more than one thing. Of course not. No. Come get that dry skin. Or the raw skin, I mean. Okay, go to storage tent. Good job. Trader. Hello, trader. What you got for us here? You have um, bread, tannin pulses, fish, average commission. So it'll cost me 10 for seven of those. I will give you a wooden spear. Mm. Two bone. Actually, I will give you a wooden spear and a biface for it. How about that? Give you a wooden spear and a biface for those. What I need to do is come over here. I need to make some wooden spears. Those are good for trading early on. How's our stick stuff doing? We're going to bump that up to four stick gatherers. We're going to bump that up to uh, hold 30, to gather up to 30 sticks. We need some, we need more sticks in stock. Okay, there's our 15. Good job. Let's uh, unlock pottery. And we're going to save up seven more points, and we're going to get sledges. Sledges are going to make our gathering so much faster. People will be able to gather a whole lot more. So now we're just going to sit back and kind of wait. What kind of crafting have we gotten? Yeah, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a long time. Well, skins. Nah. Yeah, most of the... We'll, we'll get some for making wooden harpoons. Or will we? Actually... One, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so ten of those will get a point. That'll give us a point for making ten of those. And we can sell those, so. Come on, springtime. Need more tannin. Need some points. Need to make sledges. See if there's anything good around. There's some uh, wild. No, those are donkeys. Yeah, those are all donkeys. All the big game seems to have moved on, on down. I bet it's 
But they're all down here. No, not down there. Let's see where all the big game is gone. Orox down there. Yeah, there's a woolly rhino. How far is that from home? So he's here. Let's, uh, if you hit enter, it'll take you to home. There, there is, he's not too far away, but he's one of those where I'd rather have us have some sledges to go before I go hunt him. There's some cave bears, more uh, deer basically. I don't remember. There's the mammoths. They're all there's a herd of mammoths over there. That's quite a ways. Yeah, all the big game is quite a ways off. And I don't want to go that far away until I have... S oh, wait, no, there's a mammoth right there. How many, uh... We've only gotten one mammoth, and we've only got one woolly rhino. I like, I like to try to get to ten of these really big ones that give you two points before they go extinct later. Okay, where'd that mammoth go? Let's go over there and hunt that mammoth. He's a little ways off, but it's not too far. Four of these guys with some, yeah, they've all got bone spears. And most everybody has bifaces, yeah. We'll go over there and hunt that mammoth. Okay, now someone's gonna go get tannin. Are you going to get tannin? No, you're. Yeah, you're going to go get. Okay, cool. The children can go and collect tannin. I never realized that before. Good, good job. All right, here we go. Let's speed this up and get that mammoth. It's an old mammoth, so not as many hit points. Everybody, work on him. There's another one down there, but he's a little farther away. So ancient animals like this will actually uh, die out. No, don't go get sticks. There's meat and everything else over here that has to be picked up. all the donkeys running around well let's speed it on up and let them start going to gather everything that we have put out for them to get where is everybody doing oh everybody's crafting that's right i had all that crafting stuff going that's fine there's three more points Four more, and we can make some sledges here while they go over and gather up all those goodies. Hopefully they go get it all. Yeah, there goes several more people. Yeah, they're all heading over to go pick up the stuff. We gotta keep an eye on them, though, because, you know, like I said before, they will sometimes go and, like, pick up one thing. Okay, he picked up two meat. Where are you gonna come and get Akin? You better, you better pick up more than one thing. Okay, yeah, you did. Didn't mean to click you. All right, cool. Yeah, we got most of it now. Good deal. Good deal. It's a whole bunch more stuff. Um. What is this set to? 20? Yeah, that's right. So that'll be good. We got plenty of meat now. We're doing really good on meat. And fish is more just kind of a substitute. I really hope they eat that bread before it goes. Bread doesn't last long. Where is the bread? Where did they put that? Yeah, all that bread I bought's gonna go bad. They're not gonna, they're not, I don't know if they're gonna eat it or not. They might. Oh well. I bought it as a supplement. We'll see if they use it. Um, oh right, I took out that uh, 
flint thing, didn't I? Yeah, we need to tell them to go get flint again. How is our stick area doing? We still got some sticks to gather. That's good. Our stockpiles are slowly getting full. We could probably do with uh, another wood stockpile somewhere. Maybe, maybe like right over here. Kind of away from everything, but still in a reasonable enough spot to be used. Yeah, all that bread's about to go. Nobody's hungry. Nobody wants to eat. Now see, that cured meat is that low. The bread was even lower, and they didn't go and use it. I don't quite understand. They're supposed to use uh, foods that are that are decaying the quickest, but obviously they didn't use any of that bread. Now they're using it before it's going to go bad, of course. Okay, there's three points. We need one more point. And I think I could do with another tent. Get another, uh, another villager. Get a few more villagers in here. Alright, three points. What can I do for three more points? That's pretty quick. I guess I could build another storage tent. I mean, I could. It wouldn't hurt anything. Need more skins again, though. More raw skins. Yeah, there. here goes all the bread. It's all gonna decay. Well, they used all but three of it. That's not bad. Uh, that's not too bad. Well, slow the game down a little bit and take and look around and see see what we've got for hunting nearby. That's all kind of far away. No, I mean, no further away than what that mammoth was, but... Um, I'm actually going to go take all those wolves out. first going to do it di on this. I find if you click on a predator, they won't go and get spears. They'll just go and attack with whatever they've got. But if you do it on an, like an herbivore type creature first and then attack the predator, they'll have they'll all have a spears equipped. So just a helpful little tip there. Oh, somebody got killed. Holy crap. No, this is not eating time. Okay, well, we lost somebody. That's unfortunate. Okay, we got seven points now. Let's sledge making. And let's get to work on... Uh, We've got 18. It takes two. Yeah, two. So that's 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 math. That's nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now that's going to give them something to do for a while. <laughs> now these sledges are going to be tremendously helpful for our people. Because they'll be able to carry like two or three items themselves, and the sledges can carry like, I forget, like five things maybe? We'll see here in a second. Six. So, like, old people can carry two items, uh, children can carry one, and regular adults can carry three. So, that means a regular adult can carry back nine items. It's, uh, it's very nice. So we're going to go ahead and build up nine sledges. I uh, hope somebody comes over here and repairs that soon. That's looking a little rough. 
Sledges are great. Sledges start making like long distance hunting trips feasible because you send out some hunters to go hunt and then once it's done, people that are idle will grab a sledge and go out and pick up what's left. And they'll be able to carry back just about all of the uh, stuff from the hunt. And you won't lose nearly as much. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be nice. So we don't want to give them anything else to do right now until these sledges are finished being built. And then we may go on another long distance hunt. We'll see what's around. Oh, there's some more mammoths actually. That's perfect. All right, let's speed it up because I want to get these sledges built so I can go on this hunt. I want to go hunt all of those mammoths. There's another knowledge point from building five sledges. I think you get another one for building ten, possibly. <clears throat> possibly, yeah. No, oh, twenty-five. It's twenty-five sledges is the next knowledge point. Oh, see, somebody used a sledge to walk five feet. Oh, what is what's going on here? There are bears in my community. Yeah, there are bears in the community here. Well, I guess we... I still want to go get the mammoths, but we're going to have all these guys too. Okay, well that gave me five points. I mean, that gave me two points for killing ten cave bears. After after you kill ten, the next one's not till fifty, so we won't ever really get to that. Uh, well, we might, because we're going to be in the Stone Age for a while since we're going to be working on stuff. See how he carries all that extra meat and all those extra skins right here? Oh, it just makes it so much easier. And now that we have a bunch of sledges, we're also, go also, also going to turn on the uh, leather outfits. Start making some of those. It's going to make our uh, city a little more attractive for other people. Okay, now that all of that is done, let's gather a, a few people here. And let's hope that our mammoth herd, our mammoth herd is wandering off. But we have sledges now, so we can... Okay, you know what? I'm actually not going to use y'all. Y'all have wandered off too much. We are going to go on a huge hunt. Oh, they're coming back. Good. Okay, we're going to go on a big hunt here. Let's check for predators. There are none. Yes, I know. I'm killing the poor little baby elephants, but you know what? It's food. There was another one. Where did he go? Where did he F off to? I, I've lost him. He despawned or something. Oh well. Now, people should grab sledges here soon and go pick up all of that stuff. How many more mammoths do we need? Well, that gave us two points. So now we need five more mammoths, and we got another knowledge point unlocked. We're gonna go ahead and grab. Um, what I want to grab? What I want to grab? Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Do I want this right now? No, I don't want that right now. Let's grab archery, and we're gonna go ahead and do archery. Do I want? Hey, right, hold on. Do I want to do that? No, stop that. For one leather, you get two slings. Or for one leather and one stake, you get one bow. Let's see if we can't take a look and see what these things do. Damage of 35. A sling has a damage of 30. So it's only five more. You know what? I'm going to make slings instead of bows. You get more. You get more bane for your buck. And we are making more 
leather outfits. Trader. Uh, okay. I know she has a high commission, but she does have um, tannin, which I desperately need right now. Okay, we'll, we'll give you some bone because I've got plenty of it. Yeah, I need all that tannin because I need more leather for more um, leather outfits. Leather outfits help um, increase the prestige, or not the prestige, the welfare of your town. And the higher the welfare, the faster you get immigrants coming in. So, And the faster the trader shows up, so it's actually really nice to have that. Wow, we've got a whole lot of raw skins. Although we are going to turn a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, this will be good. This will be good right here. Well, we've got a bunch of sledges made, and you can see how much quicker goods are being brought in now. All of that that we just, we've got like basically one load left of uh, raw skins back here. Where's our town at? Here's our town. And we made some slings. Slings also sell pretty well, so it's nice to have them. We're, we're kind of hitting that point where we have enough people we can go on hunts and keep our uh, leathers and our dry skin count up pretty high. Yeah, bows, I mean, bows are okay, but for five more damage, you only get one, whereas you can use one leather and get two slings, and it's only five damage, and yeah, it's, I don't think that's worth it. I don't, I think it's more bang for your buck to make slings, at least until you get composite bows. Once you get composite bows, that changes, that changes things. I don't even think I can... I think composite bows are made at, uh, I don't remember where they're made at, to be honest now. I don't, can I even see it yet? Tools? No, not, no. Yeah, there it is. Composite bows do 40 damage, so they're a lot, they are, they are worth it. Okay. All right, we've got our, well, another wolf attack happening. We've got several wolves coming in now. Let's get out there and go take care of this. All right, who has bifaces? faces? Okay, they're going to go get a sledge so they can go to the wolf and go harvest everything from it real quick. And they'll be able to harvest that wolf and take everything back at once. Oh, there's a cave lion. See? Cave lions come over and steal all your stuff. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. All of our meats are being cured. All of that's good. Looks like it's time for another storage tent, actually. So let's pop one in. Let's pop one in right here. This will be another storage tent for materials and tools and stuff like that. Speed the game up. Let all that happen. And this will give us another knowledge point as well. And I think the next thing we'll probably get is going to be a stone polishing. Start making knives, flint knives. We can butcher faster. Okay, cool. Make sure to tell that not to accept food. And we've got, uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves one more residence. We're, we're doing pretty good on it, so f on food and everything. So let's get one more person here in the, uh, the great circle. And speed that up and get that make that happen. Once spring gets here, we'll go on another hunt, get some more skins, a little more food. Hopefully, get a couple more points too. 
We need to build three more tents at some point to get um, our next. Uh, I think ten tents is the final ten tents. <laughs> Sorry, silly things like that make me laugh. Ten tents will get us the final tier of that. Will get us our last point. So this will get us to 21 people. That will still be. We'll still have plenty of food and everything else that we need. We'll be doing pretty good. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I had a great time doing this little episode right here. I know it wasn't a whole lot going on, mostly just trying to farm up points moving into the Mesolithic era, doing a little hunting of mammoths, but, you know, it's kind of how this game goes, slow-paced and taking your time with it all. So I hope to see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. If you didn't, go ahead and leave a dislike. Let me know what I can do different. And we will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.